our experience in manufacturing being benign in the European Union, we have discovered that high energy prices, uh, rigged subsidies uh, and arrangements which help other countries more than ours, and a policy quite often of providing subsidy and grant and cheap loans to manufacturers to literally transfer plants from Britain to other continental countries has been part of the background to this dreadful erosion of our manufacturing. I mean, it's fair to look at manufacturing because as I think Remain campaigners always say and agree, there is no full single market in services. The single market was completed in goods by 1992. And so we've now had an experience of this single market from 1992 until today, and it has not made any beneficial difference whatsoever to our manufacturing. This very deep set decline, which has characterized our period in the European Union, was, was not turned round by the single market measures which were introduced. Fortunately, our services have not yet been damaged by the growing regulation within the EU, but the evidence from what happened to manufacturing is not encouraging for when you look at what might then happen to our services. We already have many cases where the City of London, defending its interests as a financial service provider, finds itself at variance with European rules coming in, and because it's settled by qualified majority vote, uh, being round the table is of no use to us because we get outvoted, and if we dare to take it further, we get European court judgments against uh, our alleged infringement of their rules.